Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick, fun comparison video between Fedora 36 on the left-hand side and Kabutu 22.04 on the right-hand side. So they are both the latest releases, and they are both running, as you might guess, the KDE Plasma desktop environment there. So what we'll do is I'll just uh, move a few things just so we can see it a bit better, but uh, at a glance they're actually quite similar, at least at where the, the front end is concerned. So uh, we can see that uh, we're actually, they're both employing the dark mode, which is nice to see. We've got our uh, context menus here, which is going to be basically the same, although not a full employment of the, uh, the dark mode there for Fedora 36. We can see we've got a bit of a Kubuntu or, or KDE uh, wallpaper there on the right hand side for Kubuntu, whereas Fedora is running with its own uh, Fedora. Uh, wallpaper which it uh, generally likes to use across all brands of desktop environments. Uh, let's jump into the file managers just for a hot second. These are going to be probably exactly the same. Now they are using uh, Dolphin, so that is the de facto standard for any KDE Plasma desktop environment. Uh, ooh, I'm really enjoying Kubuntu the way that it's just uh, using the dark mode there, just, uh, just across the system you could say. Whereas we've got this slightly boring, slightly stock looking uh, light mode for Fedora there. But otherwise there's uh, no real differences here. These guys are pretty much exactly the same. If we jump into the uh, the back end just a little bit there, we'll have a look at uh, the, so this is where things change up a bit. So Fedora is using the 5.17 kernel, which is to be expected. It uses the latest and greatest kernel available really. Whereas uh, Kubuntu is uh, still running a, a pretty recent kernel, but uh, it's, it's not as latest and greatest as uh, the ethos for which uh, Fedora is uh, is foundational upon there, but hey, not too far apart those two. Uh, next, uh, now take these results with a bit of a grain of salt, but uh, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. So CPU mostly idling off there, which is nice to see. Uh, RAM on boot up for Fedora 1.7, sorry, 1.17 gigabytes of RAM on boot up. So let's say 1.2 gigabytes of RAM. And Kubuntu, let's say 700 megabytes of RAM. So nearly, not quite double the RAM usage, which is unfortunate to see because they are running very similar front ends here, which is the KDE Plasma desktop environment. In fact, they're almost running exactly same versions and subversions there as we can see. So this is a problem uh, in my experience with the Fedora, no matter what it's using, most of the time it's actually running at a much higher amount of RAM because it is going bleeding edge. Perhaps that's to do with the later kernel, less optimizations, that sort of thing there as well. But it is what it is, I can't control it. I actually, well, I tried to control it. I tried to reset Fedora a few times, apply all the updates, have nothing running in the background. I got it down from 1.6, 1.7 gigabytes of RAM to 1.2. Uh, but uh, unfortunately that's just the way that it likes to be. So always something to take into account if you've got an older laptop, PC, notebook, netbook, anything with a book on the end of it. Uh, you might want to steer clear of Fedora, unfortunately. So thanks for watching guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.